Welcome to another edition of Focus on Alternatives, brought to you by ADISA, the Alternative and Direct Investment Securities Association. For more information about investing in alternative investments, please visit adisa.org and check out the resource library. My name is Greg Maz. I'm your host, and I'm joined by Brian Mitz. Thank you for coming in. Thank We're going to be talking life science investing. Can you walk us through just what is that at a high level? Sure. So life science investing, it, the way we're doing is real estate. So it, it's in pharmaceuticals and biotech, but it's not the companies themselves. It's in the real estate that they utilize. And um, there, there's a huge need for this post-COVID that I'm sure we'll get into here in a second. But that's basically what it is. We're investing in lab, uh, office, industrial. It's sort of a subsector of both office and industrial. And why should an investor look at life sciences real estate versus trying to do life sciences like uh, owning the stock directly or an ETF or fund? Yeah, th there's a lot of ways to own life sciences, but it's very unique in the real estate sector. There's very few companies that do this. A lot of this real estate has been offshored over the last couple of decades, and now it's coming back onshore. So there's a lot of opportunities in the real estate sector that you can't get just investing through these companies because they don't own that real estate. They're leasing that real estate from companies like ours. Okay, and I've been reading more and more about life science investing. Um, what, what, what trends are you seeing and how things have changed over the last couple of years? Yeah, it started with the onshoring. We're seeing a lot more, especially manufacturing coming back into the country. And so that's creating an opportunity to um, th these industrial type sites that have maybe been dormant for a while or underutilized. And the needs are very special because with this manufacturing, they need clean rooms, they need cold storage, they need a lot of power and redundancies. And so to go in and, and take these older industrial sites and upgrade them to that is where the real value lies for us as real estate investors. So talk more about how these buildings are specialized then. So it, it's the, the, with the manufacturing process, when you're doing pharmaceuticals or any kind of biotech, uh, pharmaceutical type of uh, drug or therapeutic, you need certain manufacturing, um, just like you would with a semiconductor chip. You need clean rooms, you need cold storage. Um, that doesn't exist in your typical sort of industrial shell that you see today. So that, that's the difference that's needed today that doesn't really exist. And the demand is, is fairly insatiable. Um, there's a lot of federal funding that's coming with this as well. So it's not a very price sensitive customer. They don't want to own the real estate. They don't want that on their balance sheet. Um, and so th there's a huge opportunity for us to provide that for them. And there's a lot of specialty that goes into it. Like I said, it's not just like owning industrial or office. Sure, now are there key locations for these buildings versus you know, just the broad US? Yeah, it, it depends on which, which area you're talking about. If you're talking about the research and office part, that's uh, historically that's been focused around San Francisco, Boston, San Diego. Um, that's where your life science research industry really exists today. But th the cost of business there is becoming so expensive that that's expanding out now. Raleigh Durham and the Research Triangle is a, um, a place that, that's become a hotbed. Dallas-Fort Worth is becoming um, a destination for these types of investments. From the manufacturing perspective, it's, it's sort of resurrecting the Rust Belt a bit, hmm. um, okay. where you've got that manufacturing infrastructure in place, and you're starting to see some of these companies move manufacturing back to those areas. Got it. Um, and it's, I would say, necessity real estate because the work that they're doing is the health, I guess, a global health issue. Right? Yeah, it's very essential real estate. Um, and again, they're, they're not very price sensitive. And these are long term contracts, 20, 25 years with five, 10 year extensions. So it, it's, it's a very unique asset class in the real estate sector. So how do financial advisors and investors access this? It's, it's really hard today because there's only there's a couple of publicly traded companies like Alexandria that does this, um, but they're mostly focused on the lab part and they're in those traditional areas. So to really kind of hit this new renaissance, you have to um, go to an alternative sponsor. Um, we happen to be one of those, but there's, there's not many doing this in this sector yet. So it's still very hard to invest in this, but we're looking to bring product out in the near future, and I'm sure others are as well. Okay, so there's traded REITs that they can buy into, um, but then I guess it's a non-traded REIT that uh, alternative uh, asset managers are, are, are compiling together. Is that right? 
Yeah, I would think so. I think like a Blackstone's probably doing something in their BRE product uh, around this asset class. Um, but I think others are, are finding that, that this is becoming a really unique opportunity and they're, they're crafting product around it. So is it better to go traded REIT or non-traded REIT when accessing the sector? I think probably non-traded for this, uh, at least for now, um, because that, that's going to get you into the newer areas where I think the most excitement is. Um, building another research lab in Boston you know, is kind of, you can already invest in that. And not that there's not a need for it, but it's not where the real excitement in a Raleigh-Durham is. Got it. Well, Brian, thanks for walking thank us you. through life sciences. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you for watching. For more information about alternative investments, please visit adisa.org. Thank you.